let's understand our first scenario that is related to screen flow so i am going to create the screen flow which will be creating a related contact on account record and i will be debugging the flow so jumping to the flow builder so i am just going to delete these elements which are already available so i am going to create net new resources elements everything from the beginning right so let me just close this as well so that i can launch net new flow so from here you just search for flows so this list will be available you can just click on new flow from this list you will be selecting screen flow and then create right so first of all i am going to create a variable named as record id because i will be creating a contact record and i need to link that contact record to particular account so i need to have the account record id so i am just going to create a resource as a variable api name is record id you need to remember like in this record id i will be capital and everything will be in small then data type is text and you need to enable this checkbox that is available for input and click on done so this record id variable is created here now i am going to add a screen where i can receive some input from the user so here you can see on the screen i need to provide the label so i am providing the label as contact information api name is populated automatically contact underscore information this header and footer you can configure as per the requirement so if you want to show header show help text so you can enable if you want to configure the footer so these options are available so these are related to these buttons if you want to hide particular button you can if you want to uh, change the label of the button so that is also possible right so i am not touching this part as of now now here i am going to have some component so i am placing text as first component because i want to receive first name so that i can store it uh, into contact record so its label is first name api is first underscore name i am making it required from here if you want to set default value you can if you want to set the component visibility so you can set that as well right so here you can provide the condition so right now i am not touching this part because i just need to uh, show you like how you can create your complete screen flow so i am just dragging and dropping it here again and uh, this time its label is last name and it is also required right so uh, these two text components are available on the screen and now i am going to click on done so this way this contact information uh, will be received from this screen now after this screen i just need to have one more element that is related to data so i am selecting create records element or maybe create contact only so here i need to create only one record so i am selecting one then i will be providing the values from uh, separate resources and literal values so i am selecting uh, the second option from here i am choosing the object as contact then field as first name so this is the field that is available on contact object and uh, now here i need to search for the screen component that is also having api as first underscore name then i am adding one more field so this time i need to have last name and here also i need to provide last name then if i want to relate this contact with the account so i need to populate the account id lookup with the account record id so i already created this variable in the beginning so this record id variable will be having the account id 
that I am passing into this account ID lookup that is available on the contact object. If you want to make sure, so what you can do, you can just go to object manager and here you can search for contact object. Inside contact object in the fields and relationships, you will find this lookup to account. So if you populate this with the account record ID, so your contact will be automatically related to that account. So that is what we did here, right? And uh, after creation of this contact record, if you want to show the uh, record ID or if you want to store the record ID into a variable, so you can just enable this checkbox and you can store the newly created contact ID into a uh, variable. So I will be using this option later in another scenario. So I'm just clicking on done. So this way, this flow is implemented. Now I'm just going to save it. So I'm labeling it as create related contact on account and clicking on save. Now, so the first part is completed. Like I just uh, created the screen flow. Now, second part is I just need to debug it so that I can verify whether account uh, is having a related contact created or not. So I am just clicking on debug. So here you can see, I just need to pass a record ID. So I am moving here. Okay, I just need to open. Okay, it is already opened here. So here I'm going to open one account record and I'm selecting this one. And here you can see related contact as zero. So I am copying this record ID and I'm pasting it here. I clicked on run. So you can see it is asking for first name and last name. So I'm providing my first name and last name and clicking on next. So now you can see uh, this, this is the screen uh, debug. So I provided first name as Sanjay, last name as Gupta. So these are uh, available in this screen component. Uh, and uh, here this create record element worked, which is having account ID, which I passed in the record ID variable. Then first name is equals to Sanjay, last name is equals to Gupta. And uh, you can see in the result, a record is ready to be created. When the next screen pause or local action is executed or when the interview finishes. So this record is created. So it, uh, this flow interview is finished, finished and this ID is available, right? So through this ID, you can verify your record is created or not. Otherwise, what you can do, just go to your account record and do a refresh. And you will see your related record as contact. So you can see here. If you want to open this, so you will be. Now you can copy this ID. This is for contact record. And here you can see this contact record is having this account ID lookup is populated. If I go here and if I control F and paste, so you can see it is matching. So this way I created a screen flow and I showed you how you can debug your screen flow so that you can verify whether it is working fine or not. So before activating your screen flow, you just first need to debug so that you make sure the flow which you implemented is working fine or not.